third core symptom has to do with this restricted, repetitive, stereotyped uh, behavior. And in play skills, it may be that all you see is sensory motor play, twirling, mouthing, banging. It may be that the play that you see is uh, ritualistic, spinning the wheels uh, on a car uh, instead of making it go along a, an imaginary highway to get from place A to place B, um, lining up cars or crayons in, instead of using them or, or playing with them. There is sometimes a preference for common objects, strings, sticks, rocks, pens, rather than manufactured toys. Exception is trains, and someone pointed out to me that's because trains are meant to be lined up. But Thomas the Tank Engine is a very popular toy among kids on the autistic spectrum. Unless he has gone out of favor because of paint contamination, I, you guys would know more about that than I would. Is Thomas still popular? Still out there? How does restricted repetitive stereotyped manifest itself in terms of interests and activities and behaviors? The stereotypies usually present after the age of three. They can be finger flicking, unusual gaze. Do you know what the unusual gaze is? It's looking out of the corner of your eye, usually following a linear surface. And I don't know if that's because it provides an interesting stimulation to, to have your eye just deviated. Um, one of the psychologists at the developmental center said that if you do that, you induce nystagmus and you get the object to move, and that is an interesting stimulation. Um, what else? We see habitual toe walking, sniffing and licking non-food items. There can be self-injurious behaviors, head banging, skin picking, eye poking, hand biting. Uh, we can see what Isabel Rappin calls carrying a prop, a pen, a flashlight, keys, action figures. Props are held all of the time, and they're different from transitional objects. Transitional objects are, are teddy bears that, that the child endows with animal-like or human-like qualities and makes you put the teddy bear to, you know, tuck the teddy bear in with him or kiss the teddy bear or talk to the teddy bear. But props are uh, not invested with emotional content. They're just carried. And if in uh, Asperger's disorder, in the older children, this core feature may actually be uh, manifest as a restriction related to topics like the Rain Man memorizing train schedules. Um, the, it is not interest in a particular topic that's abnormal, it's the obsession, it's the degree, it's the fact that all they talk about is dinosaurs and they know everything about 